Hey Libra, this is Sunny from Sunny Glow LLC and I'm here with your July 2017 reading. Please watch your rising, your sun, and your moon sign for more clarity. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please check out my website, which is www.thesunnyglow.com. I also uh, make seven-day candles, and I perform Ricky healings upon your chakras and on a particular room. So if you're interested in that, check that out. That would be awesome. So, yeah, let's see what's going on uh, for you guys Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I just got distracted by my feather. I feel like, um, y'all may be waiting for answers. You're waiting for things to not feel as heavy as they've been feeling. And I f this may sound kind of weird. You being too busy looking you know for signs looking for answers it's, I feel like you're creating this distraction like being paranoid being anxious worrying about oh am I missing this sign is that a sign I feel like this is creating a distraction from you actually missing the purpose and the point of getting signs it's gonna come it's gonna come Libra it's just just give give us some time child I do feel like some of y'all have missed some signs um, it happens it happens but I also feel that you guys will receive um, second chances with signs around the 3rd 13th 23rd or the 30th of this month maybe even the whole third week of July you guys are going to just be hit with a lot of second chances. So don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Or some of you guys may um receive feathers as little signs. And um, yeah. Uh, if you do find a feather, um, different colors have their own meanings. So, you know, just look them up. Just look them up. But some cards did pop out for you guys for this month. Um, okay, you guys are showing up. I feel like y'all need to, it's something about either you need to stop letting somebody get away with something, somebody that needs to stop letting you get away with something, but there's a sense of somebody's allowing for this to happen. Someone is allowing for something to go on and it's very annoying. And I do see where this can create a lot of power struggles. You may be dealing with a Scorpio, um, Pisces, or Cancer who you are having this conflict with. Or somebody um, who's like born on the verge of water, fire element. Okay, so there may be a water sign or a fire sign. But um, some of y'all are dealing, like solely dealing with... Um, Scorpio Sag combination that's really what I'm picking up or you may have this energy within your chart if you aren't dealing with um, another person who's a Scorpio Sag, Sag or whatever the case may be um, you need to stop allowing for yourself to just let particular things happen especially if it's causing nothing but negativity and nothing but problems I feel for some of y'all you may be asking yourself um, hey can you close the door can you close the door thank you not all the way though thank you sorry about that um, you may be asking psychic so you're asking yourself hey am like is there a curse on me am I rooted like is there somebody wishing bad upon me? I feel like y'all are kind of, you know, worried about this as well. You're really worried about your karma. Or you may be asking your divine God and name just for forgiveness. Some of y'all may be repenting um, during this time. I also see where legal issues are going to pop up. Okay. And y'all need to deal with them. I'm hearing profoundly. <laughs> That's the word I heard. So I'm going to just say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two songs came in my head. One is, oh my, I think it's a local song. I, I don't know if it's popular. It, it might be popular elsewhere. But it's by Sh 
Shaw Baby, I think. And let, it's called Pull Up With A Stick. I think. I don't know. This new hip hop chat. Don't, it ain't for me. Not all of it. But, um, and also Drake come through. So there's a sense of you pulling up on somebody or somebody is pulling up on you. There may be some issues with blackmailing or you may be caught uh, with doing something. So, you know, if, if you aren't guilty, just make sure, you know, you, you have the receipts to let people know, hey, this ain't me. This is not this is not what you want, okay? But I do see where some of y'all may be caught up may get caught up in some scandal, unfortunately. Um I'm also seeing where exes can come back. Um and this can create a lot of confusion. I do see where some of y'all may have an affair at work or you may uh have a crush on a co-worker or a manager, but I'm seeing how this will not work in your favor. So if you shut up so if you are in this predicament then you're definitely gonna have to just you know not not do that because i really see it kind of being bad all right but the cards are flipped and i will unflip them when i get to them which is now and let's see what's going on oh, just did it. okay sorry for that distraction but we have rejoice and celebration the three of cups tied into the three of wands really interesting two threes so i feel like with a new beginning or new friendships there comes happiness new connections there's happiness or i i feel for some of y'all like you may be reconnecting with old friends um old uh old co-workers as well i feel like some of you may be going on like a school reunion or there's talks of going on um a school reunion maybe child maybe family reunion y'all this month is gonna be a lot of damn um distractions like i don't i don't know uh libra so you know just try your best to just center your head center yourself say woosa 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 when people acting dumb when you acting a bit dumb just try to calm it down all right <laughs> um i do see where some of y'all like you want to put an end to drinking um especially if there was an incident uh of like like you're causing an act. I don't want to say drunk, drunk drive. Well, yeah, drunk driving incident. Um, but I don't feel like anybody was really hurt. Like maybe there was like some scrapes and bruises and stuff like that. But I don't actually see a death. All right. Um, or some of y'all, you know, maybe you're just seeing a lot of drunk people that, and it's a big turn off for you. And you're just like, I don't want to hang around you anymore. Or I don't want to drink anymore. Like what's the point of drinking? I just feel for like some of y'all are giving up drinking or maybe there's an anniversary of you giving up a particular substance or, um, particular alcohol. So congratulations if you have been clean for a good while. Um, I am saying where if you have been in a love triangle, um, some of y'all are kind of thinking about getting out of it. I do see where, okay, some of y'all may have a job where you're always traveling and you may have a partner who lives a distance and like another partner who lives a distance. Um, however, if you aren't involved in a love triangle at all, I just feel like when you come back home, you are happy to be home. You're happy to be with your partner um, or you're happy to be with your friends and family. I do see where some of y'all, it's like you haven't been home in a while or you haven't felt like home. Like I just feel like maybe in the month of June or, you know, before then, there was a sense of just not, just not feeling like things are meaningful just not feeling value not feeling important and i feel like you guys are going to be searching for that this month and some of you all may find it but once again make sure you aren't 
using this as a distraction, okay? You're too busy looking for a home and looking for comfort in the wrong places. Some of you are. All right, so we have the destiny, which is the will of fortune, tied into the ace of swords. So some of y'all are definitely putting an end to a gambling situation or you're tired of gambling your life away or you're just tired of just staying like constantly being in the circle, constantly, you know, being pulled here, being tugged there, being pushed, you know, over to the corner. And you're just like, I just, what, what am I supposed to do? Where, where am I supposed to go? So I, I understand why you guys are in this. You know, you're looking for comfort. You just you just want, you know, you want a particular sign or message telling you, hey, this is it. This is what you need to do. I kind of said, I said this similar message to the Capricorns. So some of y'all may have Capricorn with your chart or you're dealing with the Capricorn. Um, I feel like for some of y'all, this may be um, just Saturn. Maybe a Saturn is affecting you uh, some way, somehow. Um, but I am picking up that truth will definitely be revealed in regards to infidelity um i'm also seeing where truth is going to be revealed um with work as well i feel like there's something that's supposed to happen that's going to wake you up it's going to be a particular truth but i'm seeing how it's going to be like like oh my god like is this for real like Am I dreaming? Like, did that person really say that? Or am I really in this damn situation? Yeah, I feel like there's going to be something that you guys cannot control this month. Because we have the High Priestess card. So secrets are definitely coming out. If you have a mistress, it's definitely going to be out. Um, if, if you felt a particular way about your partner, you know, you may an announce it to them, whether it's in an argument or you're just going to sit them down and say, hey, this is this is how I feel, you know, whatever the case may be. Or you guys are learning to filter out unnecessary problems and you're learning to move on and you're learning to be the bigger person and you are trusting and you are, I said trusting, and you are listening to your intuition, which is awesome, okay? Um, I am picking up where... Some of y'all are really tapping into who you are. Some of y'all are getting rid of psychic attacks. Like psychic attacks are like whoever did something to you, if you felt or if you were aware that you were psychically or spiritually attacked, I feel like the energy is lessening up. Okay. Whether you've been praying about it, people have been praying for you, you've been you've done, you know, rituals, reversal spells, whatever the case may be, to get this energy off. I feel like, you know, it isn't as strong. And you guys are starting, you know, to see a really, really big difference. Um, some of y'all, you know, you just want to take life seriously. Like, you know, you you just wanna grab life by the balls and just say, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Like some of y'all may have that mentality this month, but I'm also picking up where some of y'all, you may think differently, um, about a Leo. Okay. Um, I'm also picking up in regards to any gambling issues as well. Gambling with money, gambling with life, gambling with like important, um, uh, matters like car or home will not work in your favor, honey. Okay. Also gambling with business isn't going to be good either. Um, next we have the dis what's it discontentment and boredom uh, the four of cups and the eight of pentacles some of y'all are tired of working so damn hard and not getting the recognition excuse me that you feel like you deserve it just seems like oh, I'm so gassy y'all need to let that out y'all need to get that out it's gonna be your turn don't look at people and say oh I want to be like that why are they getting this why can't I get that I'm better than them like don't do that because it's gonna make you angry it's gonna just put you in a place of evil eyeing okay which is just gonna come back to you and, and it isn't gonna be good um i do see where some of y'all like you're just tired of pretending like you're happy like things are really gonna hit y'all this month like y'all People thought you were happy before. They're really going to see like that you've been stressed, you've been hurting, 
they're really going to see that this month. Um, because you all are really going to let some shit out. You really, really are. And some of y'all that you may be bored with your job. Um, some of y'all, like, you may be looking for another job or, you know, you, you aren't really taking your your career seriously just due to the fact that like I said you just feel like people aren't appreciating you and it just really really sucks um I'm also picking up where <sighs> some of y'all are very dissatisfied with money you're just like you're just you just want money to come in however it isn't gonna work that way unfortunately in order for you to get the money, the type of money that you want, once again, you're going to have to stop letting distractions affect you. Because if the type of money or the amount of money that you want to come in actually comes in, the angels, they're just like, you aren't going to value it, unfortunately. Like, yeah, you're going to put it here, you're going to put it there, but the money that could be saved, you're just going to spend it. So, you know, there is a sense of, you know, having a particular principle in regards to finances. So some of y'all, your root chakra may be, a, uh, may be really affected this month. Um, I do see separations, unfortunately, happening with some of y'all. However, on a side note, I do see people from the past coming back and you may give them second chances. I'm seeing that as well. Um... In regards to these second chances, do what you want. It's your life. But I mean, at the end of the day, you will understand that you're better off alone. Okay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading. Good luck with everything. And I should be back for August. Bye.